Now, if you were watching yesterday, you may remember that we brought you the story of Shufei, the orphaned gorilla shot by poachers. Vets from the Midlands travelled 3,000 miles to Cameroon to save his arm using pioneering surgery. But last night, Shufei's future looked uncertain. Well, our reporter Victoria Davis travelled to Africa with the vets and she brings us now the concluding part of the story. <laughs> This eight-year-old gorilla is in constant pain after he was shot in the arm by poachers as a baby. <coughs> These vets from the Midlands have travelled to the African rainforest of Cameroon to save Shufai's arm, which has become deformed. But after looking at his injuries, they're forced to make the devastating decision to amputate his arm. There was always a chance that doing the surgery was going to make him better, and after doing the x-rays today and feeling his wrist, unfortunately that hope is, is, no, is no longer there. The bones really are collapsing, and he's got quite a lot of arthritis in that wrist, and he'll be in a lot of pain, actually. The only way we can guarantee him to have a pain-free life without many, many complications is if we take away the source of the pain um, and amputate that arm. So it's, it's hugely disappointing for everyone and everyone is, is upset about it. No one more so than Shufai's carer. Suddenly they said to cut his arm. So I am, I am not comfortable. I am I'm very, very bad. An education room in the middle of the rainforest is turned into a makeshift operating theatre. Sharon Redrobe from Twycross Zoo is used to working with gorillas. But veterinary surgeons Sandra Kaur from Nottingham University and Damien Chase from Derby normally operate on cats and dogs. But it's their combined skills which is hoped will change this gorilla's future. After years of suffering, this operation means Shu Fai will be pain free. And for this gorilla, that means the chance of being able to lead a normal life. From the day he arrived, we've gone through so much with him, through his surgeries, and we've nearly lost him twice, which was just horrific. And he just keeps going and keeps going. He's, you know, we're so proud of him. And so even though it's got to the point where we've done everything we can and we know it's the right decision, it doesn't make it an easy decision at all. But it's the best thing for him and it's about Shu Fai. Surgery went well. It's not great to have to take his arm off, but on the plus side, and it is a big plus, he'll be out of pain now for the rest of his life. And we don't have to worry about him getting arthritis and discomfort from it ever again. He's done, you know, he's fixed. But after a lengthy operation, Shu Fai struggles to wake. Hello. For his carer, it's too much to bear. And as night falls, the woman Shufai has known since he arrived at Ape Action Africa as a baby refuses to leave his side. But a new day brings a new lease of life. I'm so happy today. Since morning, I see him moving. It'll take 10 days for Shu Fai's wound to heal, but he's already climbing, eating, and walking. In fact, he's doing everything a young gorilla should be doing, and it's great to see. The aim of the trip was to come and try and make him as normal as we can, and I think hopefully we, we've achieved it. We 
We knew the surgery was the right thing to do, but we, we were really not sure how he was going to cope. And he did the most amazing thing, which was to climb up the cage wall. And I never expected to see him do that, never. In just a few days, Shu Fai will be back with his family group. And after a lifetime of pain and discomfort, this gorilla can now enjoy the start of a new life. What an uplifting story. The extraordinary thing is he doesn't seem to notice that he is now an amputee. Absolutely, although he's out of pain, so... The main thing, of course, yeah. Yeah, I've yeah. just absolutely loved this series. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Happy ending. Happy yes. ending for uh, Shu Fai there and his carers, of course. And uh, indeed, the end of uh, a fascinating series on the work of Midlands vets who are involved uh, over there in Africa. Indeed, but there is more on our website. If, like me, you want more, just go to itv.com slash central. There you'll be able to see Victoria's other two reports uh, from earlier this week. And you can also hear her first-hand account about filming in the Cameroon jungle, because it wasn't that easy, and surviving in the most basic of conditions. There's no posh hotels out there. I it was that. pretty basic. I <laughs> Now, uh, 15 of King Richard...